Okay, um, I have my Taurus three, uh, 357 Magnum. Uh, this is a uh, seven shot snubby. And what I'm going to be firing today are 38 short Colts. Uh, this is the actual parent cartridge of the 38 long Colt and then the 38 special and then the uh, 357 Magnum and for some reason I only got uh, six shells and I'll be firing this from 25 yards This is a very mild round, not much recoil at all. Unfortunately, uh, this 357 Magnum is the only uh, 38, call it 38 caliber uh, weapon that I own currently. So this is probably not the best pistol to be using. Let's see if I can get back in the frame here. And once again, that was the 38 short Colt. And these are dirty little rounds. I believe these are black powder. You see little residue and stuff in there. It looks like some kind of uh, bulking agent or something that was in here as well. So this guy is definitely going to have to get a nice warm soapy bath tonight. Maybe I'll bathe with it. Okay, so right now I have loaded this up with some uh, real black powder uh, cartridges. And this is uh, 38 Long Colt. And once again, this is a descendant cartridge of the 38 Colt. And um, it should be a little more powerful than the uh, 38 Colt, 38 Short Colt. Uh, let's see if I can get back in the front here. Once again, I'm firing a single action from about 25 yards. I tell you, these actually have a little bit of pop to them. Um, probably on par with the uh, 38 uh, special, to be honest with you. This actually does have a little bit of pop to it. So let me reload and go at it again. And as you can tell from the smoke, this is not smokeless powder. This is true black powder. These are the uh, black dogs. Oh, and here's an interesting phenomenon. I don't know if you can see that, but it uh, really blewed up the casing, as in blue, B-L-U-E. Okay, so it's almost like, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen chrome car headers or anything like that. Once they've gotten a little warm and uh, it's actually gotten some thermal bluing going on, uh, that's what these cases kind of remind me of. So let's give it another go 
with the Black Dog 38 Long Colts. This old girl starting to gum up a little bit. You can see the, uh, the bluing on the cases. Yeah, she's starting to gum up a little bit. But once again, whenever you fire a shorter cartridge before a longer cartridge, and then you compound it by having these nasty black powder uh, cartridges, that's to be expected. So she's definitely going to get a thorough cleaning tonight. Okay, here I am again, and I'm sorry if I really can't, uh, I'm not really in frame today because I really just can't see just the, the orientation of the sun and everything else. I really just can't see what's going on in my viewfinders very well. Uh, but here again is the Taurus 357 Magnum, and I'm going to be firing um, 357 cartridges. Uh, these are the aluminum case ones, uh, the CCI Blazers. And we're just going to see how much pop this has compared to the other ones. Now this is, now I'm firing with this uh, revolver was actually designed to fire, specifically. Bad boys burning the hand. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, what you have now is very quickly expanding aluminum casings in something that's already been gummed up with black powder and the residue of uh, shorter cartridges. So this bad boy is not going to eject today, or at least not right now. So I'm just going to have to let her cool off and uh, let everything contract a little bit and take her home, nice soak cleaning in some nice hot soapy water. Uh, and uh, let her be like that. Alright, thanks for watching and comments are welcome. Bye-bye.